Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Our topic for today is learning about investing. Today I have five questions for you guys to better learn about investing. These five questions were answered by an investor, but he wasn't able to make the video today, so shout out to him for answering the question, even though he couldn't make the video. Now we're going to get straight into the questions for today. Question one. Investing seem complicated. How do I start? Investing can, in fact, seem complicated. However, much like everything else, you start at a beginning level and advance your knowledge progressively. There are numerous ways to get started, but let's look at a self-directed approach. You can download the Robinhood app, create an account, decide how to fund your account, and then choose what you want to invest in. Sounds simple, right? It is, but choosing what to invest in why to invest, how much to invest, and how long to invest is where investing becomes a little bit more complicated. Investing requires you to have an understanding of the market, which involves following the news to know how the market is performing and how the company you decide to invest in is performing. Question two, what type of investment are available to the average person? There are different tiers of investors, such as in Tucson Live, Accredited, or retail. An average person can be categorized as a retail investor. A retail investor is a non-professional investor that can purchase stocks, bond, mutual funds, and exchange traded funds. Question three, is it too risky to pick out your own stock? Every investor must perform their daily due diligence before making an investment. Starting out, it may be risky for someone that does not understand the market or what metrics to look at to determine whether a company is good to invest in or not. So it's good to utilize the various resources such as YouTube, books, podcasts, or just performing research and reading articles about the stock you have interest in. Question four, why is risk tolerance important and how can I figure out what mine is? Risk tolerance is essentially the amount of loss an investor is willing to take. Some investors have high risk tolerance while others have low risk tolerance. There are risks associated with every investment. However, some investments are riskier than others. Generally, the higher the risk, the higher the reward. In this case, the higher your return on your investment, known as ROI. Inversely, the lower your risk, the lower your potential return. So to figure out your so to figure out your risk tolerance, simply determine how much money you are willing to lose. Depending on whether you have low or high risk tolerance, that determines what you decide to invest in. Question number five, our last question. I keep hearing it's critical to diversify. Why? The investor says you never want all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is an essential aspect of investing. It's a strategy to help reduce the risk of losing your entire portfolio should something happen in the market. You never want too much exposure in one company, sector, or asset class. Here's an example. Typically, a younger investor, you can withstand being exposed to more equity because you are young enough to rebuild your portfolio if something should ha happen. As an older investor, you typically want safer investment due to retirement looming. In that, an older investor will typically shift their portfolio from equity more to fixed income investment. And these are the questions for the today, guys. These are the answers. Thank you so much for the investors for answering that. I pray that you guys got wonderful education about investing. I hope that you start up. Make sure that you know what you're doing before you get into investing. All the information that I've just read, the questions will be below in the description if you want to remember it and be able to use it. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for keep coming back each and every single day watching these videos. If you haven't already, like, subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notification. That way, anytime I upload, YouTube will send you a notification. This is Motivation for Young Christian. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.